somebody posted that the Democrat Party's worst nightmare run room, all these black conservatives, right? right. Tim yeah, Scott. they're so scared. What's this guy? I forgot his name. He's good, though. I like this guy. He's, he's very good. Brian Donalds, I think. Yeah, Donalds. Yeah, Donalds. Um, so, and then this guy right here, he comes back and says, I Googled their wives. We good, y'all. So apparently they Googled their wives and they see that all these guys have white wives. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Every celebrity or every fucking cultural icon that that guy probably looks up to has a white wife too. Right. So trying to make it seem as if being a conservative is like, of course they have white wives. They're conservatives. No. Every NBA player, most rappers. Ben Jones, Don Lemon. Kendrick Lamar, Kanye West, um, fucking Drake, um, Jay Z, yeah, Jay Z for yeah. real, Jay Z, um, goddamn, I just found out Fame from MOP got a white wife. Oh, Tavis dog in the chat, the squad, Fame, Johan Omar, yeah, Lil. Fame, fame from M O. Ah, oh, I gotta see that one. I don't even play. I can't even. You ain't no little fame had a white wife, man. Nah, I didn't know that. Yeah, little fame. Yeah. And he up. Kentaji oh. Jackson. <laughs> what, what's her name? The Supreme Court woman. Yeah, I mean, but to, to try to throw it on conservatives is the craziest thing. It just shows you how they're gonna kick your ass in November because they have no shame. Yeah, but but yeah. that's like that's like a red herring right there, you know. Like you said, that's a red herring right there. Well, conservatives are so stupid. They're like, here's the Democrats' worst nightmare, y'all. These, these <laughs> strong black men policies are really going to challenge the Democrats. Are like, yeah, they got fucking white hussy wives, you know. Like they they don't give a fuck, dude. They just go <laughs> straight to that shit. Oh man, <laughs> a little thing oh, out of here. They don't care about any of that. Even if the wives were black, that, that wouldn't change anything. Let's be honest here, like. No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't change nothing. But that's what I'm saying. Like, if they were, if they all had wives that looked like fucking Grace Jones, it wouldn't have mattered. But the, the but the, the but the, the the fact that they have white wives will be used against them selectively. So, like, their favorite rapper has a white wife. Their favorite ball player has a white wife. Their favorite news anchor uh don right, lemon right. has a white husband um this this other news anchor has a has a white wife this wh whoever the this civil rights activist has a white wife uh this um this woke um fucking um goddamn youtuber has a white wife what all these people have white wives but they'll act but they'll throw it in a conservative's face, and you should see the comment section. They're like, yeah, they got white wives, man. They ain't shit. And it's like, oh, my God, you can't beat these people. Yo, this is wild. I never saw this picture before. A little fame? Oh, that's... Little fame got a white wife. Oh. <laughs> Andy up. I mean, it, it, there's nothing wrong with that. I would just never think a little fame would have a white wife. But there's nothing wrong yeah, with that. Yeah, man. White women be winning, man. <laughs> Big time. White women be winning. Have you, have you ever heard the phrase, it's hard to argue with a smart person, but it's impossible to argue with an idiot? Yeah. That's like what it's Definitely. like dealing with liberals. You can't beat them because they're too stupid to beat. Oh they God. don't know when they've lost the argument. It's it's kind of like this weird tactic of deny and divert. Yeah, but that's what they're really good at, though, I think. So that's why they stick to it, because that's what they're really good at. But but like but like I think Ak, like I think you're wrong about the election coming up. I think uh I think Trump's gonna take this one, I think. But but if that happens, it won't be because of of sons. 
No, well, I I don't know who it's gonna be because of, but like I, I think he's gonna like he's he's just taking over everything right now. He's just winning everything. So I don't know. I mean, if anything, if anything, if there's any like true change in a voting pattern, it would be Ombritos before it's gonna be Sons that give Trump an election. Yeah, Sons will never change. We got we'll never change. We're we're fixed. We 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 ain't we ain't, we ain't changing. We, like I told you, 98 percent um son women gonna vote for um Biden. Eighty five percent son women gonna vote for Biden. Chalk it up. Um, yeah, it's funny. Anyone else notice that the very people telling us to hate white men actually love them? <laughs> right, like like not only do they love them, but these white men have their if they're like my wife or whatever, they have their pin to their debit card. They have my wife. Or the, I, don't, I don't know where my social security card or my birth certificate is. My wife knows. Like, this is your spouse. This is not just a fucking thing. This is a, like, we're not supposed to trust white women. White men are the most dangerous, untrustworthy people on the planet. But her you, your fucking power of attorney, the person that can say, hey, man, uh, cut the cord or pull the plug <laughs> some shit, is a white person. <laughs> it goes beyond fucking, you know what I'm saying? Fucking is the least of this union. These people love, they trust everything, they, their whole essence is in a white person. AOC, this white guy is like literally like AOC talks all this shit about white people but if she was unconscious and we needed to call somebody the first person on her list when you go in the hospital would look on the list it would be like call this white guy AOC's unconscious we need to, we need to call this white guy her, her um what do they call it your um your emergency contact <laughs> Yeah, they look happy too, especially Don Lemon. He looks pretty damn content. Yeah, man. Holding hands and everything. And they gonna try to talk about white conservatives. I mean, black conservatives. Like, like, look, can't be a black conservative without one of these on your arm. Well, you can't be a goddamn fucking liberal without one of them on your arm either, motherfucker. Bro, with these people, man. Oh my god. And they win with that shit too. Like no one, no one will challenge. No one, no one challenges this shit. They just say whatever. Um, let's see this, this, this fucking woman, sister. I mean, this sister, sister. Um, tell us what's on your mind. This might be a controversial take, but I'm seeing a lot of queer white people posting shit like. Like posting themselves being really happy and doing some random shit and being like, yeah, our joy is resistance. I'm like, in my opinion, white people's joy is not resistance. Like queer or not, your joy is not resistance. Matter of fact, your joy is what got us here in the first place. Like your joy is why we're having to resist. And like y'all putting yourselves and finding yourselves and like your own joy in front of everybody else is what got us here. Like literally, I'm seeing so many white people right now going on like organizer retreats and posting about their joy and how awesome it was. Honestly, I want to see more of y'all like sitting your ass at home and giving your money to black and brown people so they can do that shit. Yeah, this we might know. be a shocker. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say, sister. Yeah, you knew she was putting that in the end. I've said it once. I'll say it. A thousand more times, you have to take women's political power Ain't away. Me white demons, they're like you take away women's women's political power. None of this stuff matters. If you ask me, white people be having too much joy in their life. <laughs> they need to hey. take some of that joy and give money to black people. Hey man, it's a Friday, man. Can we get the five dollar challenge started on a Friday, man? It's Friday, man. Yeah, I know you gliders out there taking joy and give it to Og. Did you hear this woman say? Did you hear this woman? Y'all need to take y'all money and give it to black brown people, man, so we can do that shit, man. Um, look at this shit, man. I mean, like, this is what Joy Reed said was pretty bad. 
and Joy Reid had they she she has that Harvard education, so she can articulate it. This woman's a moron. She probably um, you know what I'm saying, um is she's just some moron black chick. She running the mill dyke system. Yeah, yeah. But she was able to verbalize it pretty well too and 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 get across the hatred that I tell you guys that black women, I've been saying this for years. Black women, the loathing that they have for white people, and I'm not saying that they won't marry a white guy, but they st- they'll still retain that loathing, that loathing they have for the white populace, uh, the white consensus, the white collective, the loathing they have. You guys, I don't think you could ever fathom it. Like you could ever put a a number on it. It's really, really fucking bad, man. Especially towards glider. I think it's a lot more towards glider women in, in particular. Um, yeah, like, I like think like they're the tip of the spear. Date a white boy, right? Well, no, they'll marry. Well, if you look at the WNBA, right? They're 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 married to 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 white women. All the 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 the, the pro black um, dyke bitches in the WNBA are are, are married to, to to women. Um, so so it's like it's like you you have to you have to like like it you, you can't you you can't like put them in a box, man. Um, let me show you something, man. Same with crazy. like. Uh... Celebrity son women that are dykes as well. They they have actually what you notice too is when they're married to white women, and then they have a kid. They always use the white woman's egg for that kid to make uh to, to you know to have a child, and then they use a a sperm donor from from some. Yeah, Candace Parker. You know, you might know Candace Parker. She's one of the greatest basketball players ever. She's married to a white. She just married a white woman. Um, she's, 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 she's probably one of the, she's probably one of the best basketball players we've seen in a while. Candace Parker. Yeah. Uh, and her wife, Anna, welcome a son into their loving family. Who's, uh, um, whose egg did they use? <laughs> yeah. See, that's, that's not a black egg and a black sperm. That doesn't not look like that at all to me. That looks like a white egg. Uh, yeah, a yeah, baby came out looking like that, right? Well, that's how babies come out looking. Yeah. 